Good afternoon, everybody. We are going to get started. I want to welcome you all. I'm Jennifer Manukin, and I have the great fortune of being dean at the UCLA Law School, uh, which is home of the Promise Institute for Human Rights, one of today's co-organizers and sponsors. First of all, I want to thank you for coming to this event, Lights, Camera, Reaction, The Art of Impact in Entertainment. And I know that we have a really tremendously interesting afternoon ahead of us. But first, just a little bit of welcome and some thank yous. I want to thank everybody who made today possible, certainly including the Hammer Museum, for opening this beautiful space and theater to us today. This event also really does mark a milestone in connecting a variety of resources of this great university. And of course, we're located in the heart of the entertainment industry, and we're connecting with partners in film and television to help make a tangible difference in people's lives. Movies and television really do have the extraordinary power to change hearts and move minds by vividly presenting the most pressing range of issues to a broad range of viewers. But doing so in a way that actually brings about concrete and positive change is certainly no easy task. Trying to tell complex stories of human rights violations and other horrors is rife with challenges. And so today's summit will try to explore and strengthen the connections between entertainment and action, a bond that is certainly as vital today as ever. I very much look forward to hearing from the amazing array of panelists and speakers who have assembled for our gathering. We have a number of Hollywood's most celebrated filmmakers and influential legal leaders whose work is vital in getting their stories to screen. Creative Armenia is a great nonprofit organization that discovers and provides fellowships to outstanding artists who comprise the next generation of globally conscientious writers, filmmakers, and musicians. And Creative Armenia's president, vice president, Alec Mohibian, will lead today's panel discussion titled Art and War. And that will examine the decisions that artists must make in filming and editing their projects. The School Center at UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television is also a real pioneer in the educational space. It's the first institution designed specifically to harness the power of entertainment and the performing arts in order to accomplish social change. School Center Executive Director Peter Besant will moderate today's panel on the business of producing human rights entertainment, which is, of course, an essential piece of the puzzle. The Promise Institute at UCLA Law School is also sponsoring today's event. And the Promise Institute is headed by my faculty director, Asla Bali, as well as the associate director, Jess Peake, who probably has done more in terms of the logistical organization of today than any other person. And so I do want us all to take a moment to thank the School Center, Creative Armenia, the Promise Institute, and Jess Peak. Let's, Let's give them <laughs> all a big hand. Now today's panel includes a variety of other really interesting people and lots of interesting projects, including several people who were instrumental in making the movie The Promise, including the director Terry George, the star Angela Sarafian, and producer Eric, Dr. Eric Israelian. Released last year, the Promise chronicles the Armenian genocide of the early 20th century and is a prime example of what we'll talk about today. It's the first Hollywood feature film to shed stark light on a terrible atrocity, making tragic events of the past more visible and relatable through film. I certainly recommend The Promise to anyone who hasn't seen it, as well as the companion documentary, Intent to Destroy. And if you want to see it again, that's that's all good too, especially because it is the namesake for our Promise Institute for Human Rights, which was founded in significant part with proceeds from that movie. In a way, I think this institute and all we're doing captures this connection between art and law in the service of truth and justice that's deeply ingrained in the work that all of the event sponsors do. There's one more thank you that's quite important, and that is to the dean of the Theater, Film, and Television School, Terry Schwartz, who's here with us today. Terry, would you stand up so we can recognize you? And who's also been a tremendous partner for this event and for much else that we're doing. I think that partnership has further options to thicken and develop. 
For example, in connection with something else that we've begun at the law school, which is a documentary film clinic in which students can offer free legal services to independent filmmakers who are telling stories, stories with impact. And some of them can even also be part of our UCLA community as well. This innovative endeavor is overseen by media law experts Dale Cohen and Dan Maeda, from whom you'll hear in just a few moments on the first panel. And I think this really is just one of the ways that UCLA Law and UCLA as a whole university is engaging with human rights leaders and activists, with filmmakers, and looking for ways to create connections between our location here in Los Angeles and the ability to make a difference both locally and across the globe. So I hope you enjoy this afternoon, um, and I hope you learn something and find it entertaining. Hopefully it will be entertaining and impactful, because that's obviously what we're going for. I hope the panels are illuminating and that you are as motivated as we are to apply your talents, wherever you're com you come from, to be with us today, to making some kind of the difference in the world, perhaps through storytelling, through entertainment, and through law. I'll see you again later for the presentation of our Promise Institute Award to Mira Sorvino. Until then, I hope you enjoy the afternoon, and I want, hope you'll join me in welcoming our first panel to the stage. Thank, Thank you again, again very much, much for being, being here. here.